Question of the day is, will artificial sweeteners break your fast? Also, where do you get your shirts from, RJ? Now, artificial sweeteners, despite being low or zero in calories, can sometimes cause the body to release insulin. And guess what? When you release the insulin, you could break your fast. Now, when insulin exists, it shuts down the fat burning mode to accommodate glucose or blood sugar absorption. So the exact reasons for this are not completely understood, but there are a few possible explanations. Taste receptors could be one of those explanations. Artificial sweeteners activate the taste buds on the tongue and they detect sweetness. Now this sweetness on the tongue sends a signal to your brain, which can then trigger the release of insulin. Now, even though there may not be actual sugar to metabolize, your body expects sugar to be there based on the sweet taste on the tongue. There's a gut and brain connection. Artificial sweeteners can affect the community of microorganisms in your gut called the gut microbiota or biota. Biota? You can tell me. So changes in these microorganisms may impact insulin response. The way that your gut and brain communicate can also influence insulin release. Another one is that there's conditioning. So over time, your body may get used to the artificial sweeteners and start expecting to increase in blood sugar levels. Now this condition can actually lead to an insulin response even when your blood sugar doesn't actually rise. So this could break your fast. Now it's also important to note that not all artificial sweeteners have the same effect on insulin levels and people may respond differently to them. Some artificial sweeteners like organic stevia and organic monk fruit extract are reported to have little or no impact on insulin levels. So if you need to choose between aspartame and sucralose or organic stevia and organic monk fruit, and you're looking for a zero impact on your blood sugar so that you can burn fat as fuel while you're fasting, then go ahead with the natural sweeteners versus the artificial sweeteners. So if you're really concerned about how artificial sweeteners may affect your fasting goals, I would suggest that it's best to limit or avoid them at all during your fasting periods. I remember going back to my other video with the different types of fasts where the 16 hour fast, as long as you burnt off your previous calories, then you start to dip into fat. 24 hours, you're more likely dipping into your fat. And then 48 hours is when you're definitely dipping into your fat. You don't want to ruin that with the wrong sweetener. So guys, before we go on, give the video a like. I know this is a lot of knowledge, a lot of maybe over the head type of stuff. But for those hardcores out there that are doing intermittent fasting, there's no point of wasting your fast if you're just gonna be putting a bunch of sweeteners in there that's breaking you out of your fast. So give the video a like, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification so you know when the next video comes out.